بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جی اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم عارف اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا نیکسٹ سیشن آن دا سبجیکٹ آف سسٹم پروگرامنگ وتھ لینکس ٹائٹل آف ٹوڈیز سیشن از ڈیزائن اینڈ کوڈ آف یونکس مور یوٹیلٹی ویل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ فرسٹ اے کوئک ریکیپ اباؤٹ فائل ہینڈلنگ یوزنگ اسٹینڈرڈ سی لائبریری فنکشنس I will just touch upon few examples that deal with disk I.O. using library functions and then we will move on to the Unix more utility. What does it do? How does it do it? Can we write our own more utility? And then we will start writing code of different versions of our own more utility. Well, this slide shows a summary of standard C library functions that most of you might have used for reading and writing the terminal and the regular file types residing on a disk. For example, fopen and fclose are used to open and close a file. You can of course open a file using fopen for reading as well as for writing. After you have opened a file, you can perform reading or writing using unformatted I.O. functions like fgetc and fputc. to read and write one character at a time or fgets or fputs to read or write line by line well dear students uh, if the file contains integers or floating point values most programmers prefer using formatted io functions like fscanf and fprintf and finally if you want to move the current file offset of an open file to perform a random access you can use functions like fseek ftel and rewind uh, let me just show you some examples that deal with disk io well we have uh, different files f1r.cf2r.c f1w.cf2w.c uh, these are the programs i have discussed in my c refresher Uh, video lecture number 10 uh, these sample codes are also available on my bitbucket account along with sample codes of the other sessions uh, please uh, do go through the code of these files and if you are new to ha uh, file handling you can always uh, rewatch uh, the video lecture number 10 of my c refresher site uh, series available at uh, my website rfbud.me Uh, let's move back to the slides okay uh, right dear students uh, let us move on to the actual topic of today's session and that is uh, design code of unix more utility uh, let's be let me move on to the terminal again and see what more command actually do well if i run more without any command line argument it displays the help page i'm running it without any argument let me move on to uh, the directory my more which contains different files uh, like my army friends the list of my civil friends these are the text files okay let me pass more a file name as command line argument uh, well if i give a command line argument uh, which is a text file and if i have read permissions on this text file the more utility open the file and display the contents of that file and of course quit and if i pass space separated list of files more will first display the first file and then waits for a command if i press space bar it displays the second file and finally quit and this is the behavior of more 
for files which are of small size. Now let me uh, use more on a longer file that contains more text and more lines. I have a file in my present working directory with the name of longfile.txt. Let me run it. Well, this file contains numbers, one number on each line and a total of about 80 lines, I think. So more has just displayed one page of this file and in the last line at bottom, it is displaying some information in reverse order, in reverse video. And that is a percentage of file uh, contents that are displayed so far. Let me quit and let me show you uh, the number of lines which my terminal is showing right now. So right now there are about 21 lines. If I zoom out and run it again, now I have 30 lines. If I zoom in and run it again, it again has 21 lines. So lines is a basically an environment variable which contains uh, the number of lines uh, that this terminal is uh, displaying right now. Let me run more again. Now since there are a total of uh, 21 lines right now on this screen, you can see the more is displaying uh, the first 20 lines of the file and the 21st line or the last line it is displaying that message in in reverse video. Now actually more is waiting for the user to give it a command by pressing a character. For example, if I pr press Q, it quits. Let me do it again. Please note that when I press Q, the character Q is not echoed on the screen. Moreover, I do not have to press enter key after pressing Q. Let me run it again. Now let me just press enter. If I press enter, more displays one more line from 25 to 26, now to 27, 28 and so on. And also note that the percentage is also updated. If I press a space character, a complete new page is shown in front of you. And if I do a search, for example, I put a forward slash and write down, let's suppose, 72. You see it has displayed me that value, 72. Let me run it again. And let me find out 72, search for 72 again. And let me say, let's go 73. And it is showing me 73 again. Okay. Let me run it again. If I press V, I'm going to press V now. This file is open in, 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 in Vim now. You can see I'm right now in Vim. And I can make changes to it. I suppose I have of 19 I am writing RF and then I press escape and save and quit and you see I am I have fallen back to 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 more again if I quit run it again you can see line number 19 is edited okay let me use more with IO redirection. So more works pretty fine with IO redirection as well. I can use uh, more like this as well. Let's suppose I do the output redirection as well and create a file with the name of copy. You can see that the output has not been displayed on the std out rather it has been copied to a file named copy 
Similarly, uh, we can use more with the pipe symbol as well. Let me get the listing of the bin directory and pipe it to more. You can see more is working on the right side of the pipe as well. Well, if I tell you to write your own more utility having at least these features, if not more, you will not be able to write it without having an in-depth knowledge of certain features of the system and at the same time having a mastery on the use of system calls as many of these tasks can't be done by merely using the C library calls. So let us move back to the slides. Now that we know that uh, what more uh, do, let us discuss how does more do it. In a very simple, simplest words, more show p minus one lines. P means the number of lines a page has right now from the file pass as command line argument and then show a message in reverse video in the last line. After performing the first two steps, more waits for commands from the user and if the user press a new line corrector, more advance one line and then go to step two. And if the user presses space corrector, more go to step one, that is it moves ahead entire one page. And if the user press Q, more quits. Let us start writing with a very basic version of more, that is more version zero, which get a single file name via command line, display the entire contents of the file and exits. Let us move on to the terminal. I have written a basic version to save time. Let me discuss the code for you. Okay, we have uh, the main function in front of you which receives the command line arguments and if no command line argument is passed, it displays the help page. If argc is equal to one, that is no command line argument passed, it displays this line and in case if some command line argument is passed suppose in our v sub 1 more assumes that this is a file and it open it using the f open library call in read mode and f open returns a file stream pointer and then this file stream pointer is passed to another function that is do more and it is this function which reads the contents of this file and display it on screen. And this is a very basic code for the do more function which receives the file pointer, creates a buffer with uh, this size, this is assumed to be of 512 bytes. So I am assuming that uh, any line will not be more than 512 bytes. Then it uses fgets function and this fgets function actually reads the file pointed to by this stream pointer, this much maximum number of bytes and place it in this buffer. And then it prints it on std out using fputs. Uh, dear students, uh, this loop uh, continues until an end of file character is encountered on which fgets returns null and this loop breaks and of course then falls back to, to the main function over here, closes the file and the program quits. Okay. Let me do GCC with more version 0.c. And let me run it a dot out on my army friends.txt. 
it works fine let me run it on my civilfriends.txt it works fine and let me run it on 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 two files oops so if i run it with two command line arguments two file names it just display the contents of the first file and not the second file let us see how we can correct this issue let me copy more v0.c to more v1.c and let me open more v1.c actually i want to get multiple file names now multiple file names via command line argument and prints the contents of of all the files and then finally it exits okay so what we need to do is we need to we need to yes over here instead of using only the first command line argument i need to run this in a loop so to run this in a loop uh, let me create a loop variable int i is equal to zero and let me use a while option over here while let's suppose plus plus i is less than arg c the total number of arguments i receive and what i need to do is i need to open this file in read mode and in case of error i should display the error message and quit and then i should call the do more function with this fp and then i should do a close over here and then i should fall back to this place and this loop should continue let us uh, compile and run this program and see whether it works or not gcc more v1.c and let me run it on my civil friends as well as army friends and you see this time it has displayed both the files so this is the civil friends file and this is the army friends file so let's move back to the slides again move ahead so this is the version one which we have done and this is the second version okay so well uh, this version actually we want that more should display one page of the file at a time and after displaying the first page it should pause and wait for for some basic commands like q to quit space to show another page and a new line character or the enter key for 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 proceeding to next line okay let's move back to the terminal to save time i have written a version 2 let me discuss the code okay well at the top i have defined another another macro that is page len which is 20 uh, well i assume that for the time being the screen is uh, fixed and that is of 21 lines and i'm keeping the last line for displaying the message so page len macro contains 20 okay uh, well there is no change in the main function and the major change is there in the do more function let's discuss the do more function uh, let me adjust it on one screen okay so uh 
in the previous version uh, there were just uh, these three lines uh, of loop while uh, fcat s buffer lan f put s and and that is it so this was the loop which used to used to display all the contents on on the screen uh, but now we want uh, that instead of displaying the entire file and exiting only 20 lines should be displayed and after that the program should ask the user to enter some character uh, so I have uh, created a variable number of lines which contains zero and over here you can see every time uh, a line is displayed on std out using f put s this is incremented and this continues until the number of lines become equal to the page length that is 20 and if it becomes equal to this I call a function that is the get input function the get input function uh, is a function which is going to get input from the user uh, input a character from the user and returns it to this RV and if the user has pressed Q I break this loop if the user has pressed space bar I subtract 20 from the number of lines so that to display one complete page on std out again and if the user has pressed enter I just subtract one from the number of lines to go ahead with one line and otherwise it, it, it will break let me go to the get input function first well this is a very basic uh, and straightaway function in which I've used the get char uh, library call uh, which uh, gets a character uh, cast to an int uh, from the keyboard stores it in C and if it contains Q the ASCII is compared it returns 0 on space it returns 1 on new line it returns 2 and otherwise it returns 3 so this get input function just returns returns an integer to over here and over here I have uh, done this if else structure to perform the task I hope uh, the idea is quite clear to you so after understanding the code let me compile it more version 2.c and let me run it on the long file and you can see only the first 20 lines of this long file are displayed and the cursor is blinking at the last line waiting for some input from the user if I press Q and then I press enter the program quits let me run it again if I press spacebar and then I press enter you see it has moved down to one page and if I just press enter you see it is moving ahead by one line so it is working as expected however there are certain wrinkles and the first is uh, this extra new line that appears when a user press enter and moreover we also want to display a message in the last line in, in in reverse video and to display a message over here in reverse video uh, we need to uh, learn a bit about terminals so let us move on to the slides quit this move on to the terminal and uh, learn a bit about terminals so terminal as we all know is a device that is used to communicate with with a process it consists of a keyboard and a visual display unit and we all have used the printf famous printf function to display text on the standard output and we know the first argument to printf is a format string which contains the text to be displayed escape sequence characters and format specifiers well dear students we can also use uh, this octal escape sequence 
backslash 033 straight bracket. This is known as control sequence introducer. And after this, we can we can give a, a, a code that is known as terminal control code. And using a, a specific terminal control code, we can change how the text is displayed on the screen, bold, italic, underline. Uh, we can control the movement of the cursor as well as we can clear part of the screen. So let's uh, let's see some uh, terminal control codes. So uh, these are the list of some important control codes you can Google out uh, to find out details about other control codes. Well, you can use M. After this, you can use M and that will reset to the default settings, the displaying of the text. If I write down 1M, it will bold the characters, 2M will underline the characters and 7M is of our interest right now that will do a reverse video. Similarly, we can do the cursor movement. Uh, for example, 1A will move uh, one line up, 2A will move two lines up and, and so on. B to move down, C to move right and D to move left. That much number of columns. And this NG is used to uh, move to a specific column. You can always use R, C to move to a specific row and column. You can use uh, uh, these codes to change uh, the foreground colors and these codes to change the background colors, uh, 40, 41, 42 and so on to 49. And if you, if you want to set uh, settings to default foreground, you can use 30M and to set the settings to default background color, you can use 40M. And these are some, some of the codes that are used to clear uh, the entire screen or maybe some parts of the screen. Well, this uh, 0K is used to erase from the current position of the cursor to the end of the line. 1K is used to erase from the start of the line to the current position of the cursor. 2K is used to erase the entire current line. And this 0J means uh, erasing from the cursor to the end of the screen, 1J means erasing from start of the screen to, to the current position of the cursor. And if you want to erase the entire screen, you can use, use 2J. So these are some of the control codes. You need not to memorize them. You can find out uh, these and others on, on, on the web. And let me move on to the terminal again and, and show you a basic uh, C code uh, that use these uh, different terminal code and control sequence introducer to, to change the display of your terminal. Let me do vim uh, terminal codes.c. Remember, uh, dear students, these, these sample codes are available on on my Bitbucket account, so you need not to worry. Uh, so uh, I'm passing this 033 over here, and this M means the normal video, this 7M means the reverse video. You can use an E over here, but better to use the octal. And this 1M means uh, make this bold, and this again M means fall back to, to the normal or default setting. This 4M means any text which will appear after this will be underlined and then again I am falling back to the normal. So over here I am using a 35M uh, and 40M is a, a different color for example probably I think magenta color with black background and over here I have, I have used certain cursor movement codes and finally I am, I am clearing the screen. Okay, let me compile this program and clear screen and run it. Well, you can see this is what we wanted in reverse video, normal video. This is bold, this is underlined, this is uh, with different background and foreground color. I have moved my cursor to, to a specific location and then written this string over here. And I have moved my cursor to this column, probably uh, some lines below from 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 the top screen and then print this line and then further this line okay so 
Uh, now we have a fair idea as to how we can use different terminal codes to produce the reverse video. Now this is the next version of our, 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 our more utility. And now we want that the last line should be having uh, this message in reverse video, this fixed message. So let us move on to the terminal and try writing the third version of our more utility that should uh, display our message in, in in reverse video in the last line. Uh, let me move back. Let me let me just copy the more version two to more version three dot c. Let me open it in Vim. Uh, well, uh, this version 3 will uh, add the reverse video part in it. Reverse video feature. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is, I just want that uh, the get input function over here before it before it prompts for the character it should display a message in reverse video let me write it uh, printf and backslash 033 uh, and let me say 7m and 7m means reverse video whatever appears over here will be in reverse video and let me show you the percentage sign over here and let me set the settings to the default 033 straight bracket and m and m means the default setting okay so that is it this is the only change i have made let me save and exit compile version 3 dot for slash a dot out long file and there we go you see the first 20 lines are displayed and, and and the last line is in reverse video. Let me press enter to move to next line. Okay, so what is happening? Uh, actually, one, when I press enter, uh, a new line is entered and this line actually moves up the screen. Uh, this should not happen. How can I collect, correct it? So to correct it, uh, what I can do is uh, that before uh, displaying the next line, uh, I probably need to take the cursor one line up, then I need to erase that line and and write the new text over there and then fall back to the new bottom line. So this is how this 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 might be corrected. Now let us uh, try this logic. Let me use Vim again and update my version 3. Okay, so up till now I have just entered this line of code and now after I fall back to my do more function uh, after I fall back oh, to this place, that is, uh, I, I have got the uh, return value from get input. What I need to do is, I I, I need to uh, clear. I, I need to move up one line. I need to I need to clear that line, and then I need to take the cursor to the first column. Okay, so let me. Let me write that over here. So if the user, even if the user press enter, what I need to do is I need to do printf backslash 033 straight bracket and 1a. And of course, 1a means move one line up. Then 033 straight bracket and 2k. 2k means clear the current line and then again I need to do 033 
straight bracket and 1G. And 1G means take the cursor back to the first column of the same line. And then anything else should be done. Okay, I think this should work. Let me put a bracket over here to make this a block. Fine. And probably I need to uh, use uh, the same thing with with the rest of the command as well. So let me copy it and paste it over here make a block fine again I need to paste that line over here uh, oops Yes, over here, I need to put it in a block. Fine. So I have added this line over here inside a block, added this line over here inside a block, added this line over here inside a block, and finally, uh, before quitting as well, let me do the same thing so that that wrinkle should not appear over there okay so let me see whether this logic works or not gcc more version 3.c wrong file and now you see if i press enter i move one line ahead if i press enter i'm moving one line ahead i'm pressing enter and things are working perfectly fine when I press enter when this portion goes over there I move up my cursor over here clear this line bring the cursor to the first column displays the other line and then this reverse video is again appearing so it is working fine let me press spacebar press spacebar again okay let me press spacebar again like quits so it is working fine so far so good uh, let us move back to the slides again and let's see the next version okay now we need to enhance the version 3 to version 4 right now our more command is displaying the contents of the file or, or multiple files whose names are passed to it via command line arguments now we want to add a new feature in it and that is the feature of IO redirection. Uh, let us move on to the terminal and first uh, see the behavior of version 3 if we use it with the input redirection symbol. Let me clear screen. Node version 3.c is there dot forward slash a dot out and i run it with let's suppose army friends it works fine and if i do a input redirection it displays not the file but the help page similarly if i say cat army friends and i pipe it to my more program and in this case as well it is not displaying the file contents rather showing you just the help page so that means if we do not pass any command line argument to our more program it displays the help page so let us correct this let me copy this more version 3.c to more version 4.c and let me open this version 4 in and uh Vim. let me change this to 4 and of course we are going to handle IO redirection now okay let me move down 
the issue is probably over here. If arg c double equals 1, that is, if no command line argument is passed, it just displays the help page. What I want is that if uh, no file name or command line argument is passed, the more command should read from, from the standard input. So let me let me write down over here I need to call the do more function with the std in so in case if no command line argument is passed do more will be called with std in and of course the do more file will uh, open this and display the contents and this will be given to, to the more program because after the input redirection, the std in will be pointing to, to, to that, that file. Let me try it for you. This is more version 4.c. If I do dot forward slash a dot out and I'm not passing it any command line argument, rather I'm saying let's pose like this. So now, the std in of this a dot out is not pointing to the keyboard rather it is pointing to this file so it works perfectly fine similarly if i do it with my civil friend i use a pipe over here and then i use dot for slash a dot out over here as well this a dot out is getting its input from the output end of the pipe and the input end of the pipe is connected to the output of the cat program so this will also work perfectly fine well dear students if you are not comfortable with the io redirection and the use of pipes on the shell uh, please uh, go through the os refresher series and see the session of io redirection over there so it's working great let us now test this version of more command on a long file let me do dot forward slash a dot out on a long file so it's working fine let me clear screen and let me do dot forward slash a dot out let me do input redirection and let me use the long file over here so if I do it uh, something like this uh, you can see it is it has displayed one page but it, it it just quits it has just shown you the prompt it has just shown you the prompt let me run it again so you see it displays one page shows the reverse video message move up one line quits and displays the prompt why it is behaving like this well dear students uh, since this is a long file so after displaying one page of it uh, the control goes to the get input function to input a command corrector from the user via keyboard and uh, since the input redirection is done the std in of our more command is attached to the long file and the get char function reads a corrector from the long file and that character is neither q nor space nor a uh, new line so the get input function returns three and the program quits let me let me use the code to show you what is happening okay so once io redirection is done The first page is displayed. The first page is displayed and the control goes to the get input function. And inside the get input function, the last line is also displayed in reverse video. And the get input function is using get char function which reads from std in. And the std in of our program is now connected to the long file. 
and the long file of course contains a lot of characters and the character at that location is neither q nor space nor new line so this returns 3 so we get a 3 in rv if we get a 3 in rv what happened is is this the loop breaks Let me do it again. You see? Now how to solve this problem? To solve this problem, uh, we need to study a bit about terminal. Uh, okay, let me move on to this terminal. And let me use the command tty. Uh, well, tty command displays the file name of the terminal uh, that is connected to the standard input. Uh, so this this shows that uh, our current terminal is attached to the file named 1 inside the div pts uh, subdirectory. And if I do tty over here, you can see it is connected to file 0. And if I open another terminal and I do the tty command over here, you can see it is connected to the file named 2 in the div pts subdirectory. Okay, so let me do ls hyphen l forward slash div forward slash tty. So, well, dear students, uh, this file dev tty is a character special file uh, that represents uh, this terminal, the current terminal, whatever terminal you are on. It is represented by this file and this is a character special file on which everybody can read and write. So our program can also read and write this file. And for our program to read and write this file, it needs to open it uh, using maybe fopen and then it needs to read it or maybe write it. And that means let me show you something else. Let me say echo rf but and let me redirect this to 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 tty. So this string rf but is written to this file, and this file is actually this VDU, this terminal. Let me read it. A read from div tty in a variable card name and I write down the name as Kakamana. So this Kakamana must be there in the variable name. Well, it is there. Well, dear students, if you are not comfortable with the terminals, uh, uh, please uh, bear with me. Inshallah, uh, I will take a complete session on terminals and how to get and set the attributes but for the time being just remember that uh, this dev tty is a file that represents a terminal we can open this file uh, in in read mode using fopen and we can read this file and reading this file means reading the keyboard let us move back on to this place and uh, let us uh, Update the version 4, Vim more version 4.c. Let us make the required changes to do the IO redirection. And the first change we need to do is in the get input function. And the get input function should now be passed a file stream pointer, F I L E asterisk because we want that this get input function should read from the file that we are going to open that is div tty and this do more function will read from whatever file that is passed as the command line argument let me move down to the definition of the get input function and make some necessary changes over there as well okay 
So over here, I need to receive that and let me receive it in a variable cmd stream of type file pointer. And over here, instead of c is equal to get char, I'm going to use get c. And to get c, we pass a stream. Okay, let me show you the man page of uh, get c. Over here. Well, uh, get c is a function that reads from a, a, a file stream type of pointer and return a character cast it to int. Do read the man page whenever you have issues. So now over here, this get input function will read from 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 this command stream, and we we need to pass uh, the get input function this command stream, and this command stream must point to to std in, and our std in now will be the dev tty file. So let me move on to the do more function, and inside the do more function. Uh, I need to open a file. Uh, let me open it, of course, uh, before the while loop. And file aesthetic fp underscore tty underscore is equal to f open and the file name is dev tty. This is the terminal and I'm going to open it in read mode. That's fine. Hope there is no typo and then over here I need to I, I'm going to pass this FP underscore TTY to this okay I think it should work let me save and exit let me do GCC more version 4.c let me run it with the input redirection of, of, of my army friends and if I press enter it works uh, it has worked on army friends before as well let me run it on the long file and this time it is working you see space bar it's working quit it's working and let me say cat long file and let me pipe it to dot forward slash a dot out and this time again it is working i'm pressing enter it is working space bar new page q quit so that is great let us move back to the slides more version 4 is done more version 5 uh, well this version demands a simple feature uh, to be included and that is to compute and display the size of the file in percentage uh, well this sign is already displayed in our previous version we need to calculate this value and display it over here Okay, so uh, let me let me quickly tell you the the algorithm for this. Uh, we have a short break for for Azan, and I will fall back after Azan again. Okay, now we move on to the version five. We are done with version four, and this version demands a uh, addition of simple feature that is to compute and display. Uh, the size of file in percentage that is already displayed by more so far uh, It's simple. Uh, let me just briefly discuss the algorithm that you can use uh, Before uh, displaying the file uh, you just uh, count the total number of lines in that file After doing that you can bring the current file offset to the beginning and start displaying the file contents page by page and as you display the file contents page by page, you need to keep track of the number of lines uh, that are displayed so far. And every time you display the last line message in reverse video in the get input function, you calculate the percentage and display that value. Hope you will be able to do this. I'm leaving this as a, a piece of cake assignment to you. Let's move on to the version 6. Uh, well, uh, right now the uh, limitation of uh, more command is that when a user enters a command like suppose the character Q or spacebar 
that character is echoed on screen and moreover the user has to press enter the uh, user has to press the enter key after after giving that that input on the contrary the actual more command however uh, works in in a better fashion and it works in non canonical and non echo mode well adding this feature will again be a piece of cake after uh, our future session of terminal attributes so i am skipping this part well the other version uh, this version 7 uh, this demands that our more command should detect the page size and display the file contents accordingly right now uh, the number of lines are fixed that is that is total 21 and if you change the terminal size the number of lines in the terminal the program will not behave properly so I want that uh, we should write uh, a new year, new year version 7 uh, that should be intelligent enough to detect this change even when more is running. Uh, you can try doing this using get env or the ioctal call. Uh, however, I will discuss the ioctal call in the terminal attributes session and you will be able to do it uh, very easily. Well, uh, this is uh, another version I am leaving on to you. That is, you, you, you should add the functionality that you should be able to search uh, a string on, on, on the file, string to search. The same way more do the string search, you can also do the string search in your own more utility. And finally, this is the last version. That is, if the user uh, presses V, um, the file is opened in Vim and you do whatever changes you want to do in Vim, you exit Vim and it falls back to, to the more utility. This can be handled using the fork and the exec family of system calls. And we will of course cover that in our future sessions. Okay, so that is the end of the session. Uh, the main objective of today's session is to make you understand how uh, how to design and code different Linux utility programs, specifically more. And to bring home a point that there are certain tasks which you cannot perform if you do not know how or uh, know the details about uh, the system calls. Uh, well, all the codes discussed uh, in, in today's session and the previous session as well are available on the Bitbucket account. Please get them make changes, run them so that you understand the concepts. Hope today's session was informative for you all and it was uh, fun for me as well. If you have liked it, please subscribe my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Wish you all the best. Happy learning and Allah Hafiz.